Hello everybody, it's Severaltable4 for, for another episode of The Legend Heroes Trails in the Sky, brought to you by MuchGames.ca. In the last episode, we infiltrated the Lesson Fortress, and now... Uh... Now... No... There we go. Start. <laughs> um... We got, uh... We're in the landing port, and we have to get ourselves over to the command center. And, uh... Yeah, see, see if uh, we can find the uh, professor. So this way, I suppose. That's a dog. Okay, so there are guard dogs everywhere, so we're gonna try to avoid them. I don't know. I don't know how laden this place is with uh, treasures and such. I feel like it's since it's a fortress, it shouldn't be. Oh. I know them. It's those people. Now, how do we get over there? Heh, <laughs> so they are here. The airship from the tower. I thought they must be military. They look nothing like regular soldiers, though. They're probably a special force here to practice covert ops. It's no wonder they're so tough. So is my grandpa in there? It's looking more and more likely. But if we try to take them on here, we're going to have a rough time of it. You're right. If we cause a disturbance, we'll get swarmed by the soldiers inside. Isn't there some way we can get inside without getting spotted? Hmm. Let's try to go around the back. Still can't move. The Why, look, it's a lit up window. Hey, can we, can we get in from here? No, there are iron bars over the windows. If we make any noise, this is gonna get even tougher. Oh! Jackpot. Huh? Son of 10,000 guns! Can't believe you, Colonel Orchard. I really can't thank you enough, Professor Russell. Your work on finding a means of controlling this gospel is of great help. On behalf of the Intelligence Division, I extend my deepest gratitude. Hmm. I should have known that you were behind all of this, Colonel Richard, Chief of Intelligence. Hard to believe you once served under Cassius. No, I guess you and he were friends, if my memory serves me correctly. We've been looking for him, actually, although we've yet to pin down his exact location. If you have some idea of where uh, uh, to base the search, we'd be happy to have that information. I don't know, not that I'd tell you if I did. <laughs> well, no matter. If perchance the gospel were to have been delivered into his hands, then I'm afraid it would have presented a problem. However, even if you were to show his face now, he would have no means of stopping this current. The black ornament, or the gospel as you call it. I just want to know what you plan to do with it. Scratch that. First and foremost, I want to know where you acquired something, even required something that bizarre. I imagine my source would rather their identity be kept a secret. Our intentions. Well, they'll become evident very soon. At that time, Professor will be happy to release you. All I ask is that you wait. And you're gonna just let a witness to your crimes go free? I assume then that you intend to do something on a grand scale. <laughs> I'll leave the particulars up to your fertile imagination. That said, come the dawn when everything is realized, you will assist in our research. This invention will bring the borough riches like none ever seen before. Not interested. Please, Professor, allow him to finish before you give your answer. Look at her with that sly, evil person face. I'm so upset. Didn't... Uh... Josette, or whatever the heck her name is... Uh, no, Captain Amalthea also? Amalthea? Uh, I'm concerned now. It would be truly a pity if she were to come into some peril and you were unable to help her. You threaten her to get to me? Tut tut, Captain Amalthea. Looks like your renowned powers of persuasion were not as elegant as they once were. She rolled a two. <laughs> Pardon me then. One might say that she has a unique sense of humor. I don't want any misunderstandings between us, but you must understand that we are only soldiers. 
You have my word? That no civilians will be involved, save for you, of course. Dear dude, this has some twisted sense of patriotism. Then this black orb and that can shut down normal power. I see. So that's your plan, is it? Hmm? Pardon me. Are you that guy that, that, uh, Aggie's chasing? Hello, Lieutenant. The Colonel's pleasant, pre pleasantly, presently in a meeting. He wants no interruptions. No, no, it's all right. Give me your report, Lieutenant. Uh, maybe. There's been activity in Gransel. The White Wings are caught in the net just as you planned. My goodness. Haha, <laughs> check and mate. Now, Professor, if you'll please excuse me. The White Wings? Major Sid, see to the Professor and make sure he's comfortable. Yes, sir. Major Sid looks like he's he's not really happy about this. Uh, is there anything you need, Professor? I'll get you set up with any of the standard amenities. If I'm fine. I used to believe that you were no different from the others, that you were a good, upstanding man. Apparently, I greatly overestimated you. Uh, my apologies. But you've been abducted by rebels, you see. Rebels against the Queen. Nameless, unknown rebels. Stress that fact, and I may even let you write a letter to your granddaughter. Get out of my sight! As you wish. Everyone here is, needs to get beaten right now. So, Colonel Richard was the man behind all this trouble. I can't believe it. He seemed so nice. <laughs> Plus, it looks like he wants to find my dad. Yeah, I wonder what that's all about. And who is that masked man? Of course that bastard would show up now. Huh, and there he goes. Yeah, definitely the guy that, uh... Wait, they're all leaving? This makes our jobs easier. I mean, we're gonna have to chase them, but this makes our jobs easier. Grand plans, but what will come of them? Yeah, that's the jerk that told, uh, told, uh, Agate to, uh, to harness his anger or whatever it is, go to the dark side. I don't see Agate doing that because he has a younger sister. Now things have gotten interesting. I really wanted to settle the score with him, but I've got a job to do and that takes precedence. Since the window's a no-go, we'll have to take out the guards. Let's make this quick and clean. Simple and clean. Right is the way that you're making me feel tonight. Joshua, hey, you listening? Uh, Estelle? Uh, are, are you okay? Hey, snap out of it. It's not like you it's not like you to freeze up. Sorry, I just spaced out. Are you sure you're feeling okay? I'm fine, it's no big deal. Just, you know, thinking about my backstory. You have to take out the guards by the entrance, right? Yep, so let's get a move on. Alright, let's do this. I really want to be part of the Gransel operation. But no, I'm left here gardening, old man. Ugh. We do so much for the kingdom, for our dream, all in the Colonel's name. Such is a lie for the Intelligence Division Special Ops, I suppose. We're the Colonel's hands and eyes. Huh, if you ask me, you're the Colonel's ass. Ho oh, ho, burnt. Wrecked. What? Hey, it can't be... Agate Krosner? <laughs> You're too damn slow. You're too slow. <laughs> You're too slow. I need I need to... I need to commission Bryce Pappenbrook <laughs> to say that himself. I really need this. Like, if anyone wants to get me a birthday present uh, five months early, Commission Bryce Pappenbrook to say Sonic the Hedgehog's voice lines, please. Uh, anyway, Special Ops Soldier 1700 Health. Not particularly weak to anything, except for dying. Da, 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 da. Let's try to get that over there. You. We'll shoot you in the face. Yeah, that's right. You move a little bit closer. You, uh, you only have single attacks, you only have single attacks, that's fine. We'll just take out one at a time. What do you have? 
Boulder! Yeah, I can't put it between you guys, that's too bad. Uh, let's do Earthlands on him too. This guy is gonna get, just have a really bad time right here. Also, White Gehenna, still really creepy and I love it. Oh dang, that guy fainted, nice. Okay, so he's gonna be out for a while. I could have sworn I targeted the other one. Uh, we should be able to just slap this guy in the face with our sword. Knife things. Yay! Yeah, let's see, you can attack that guy. And, yeah, he's he's just gonna be stuck there for a while. And for a while, I mean forever. That is barely any Sepeth, you guys stink. <laughs> Sucks to be you! It's no fun when someone gets back at you for making a fool of him, huh? It's not good to carry a grudge, you know. <laughs> now it's a race against time. We have to get the professor out as quickly as possible. Right! Hopefully the professor can, uh, you know, swim. Anything else over here? No, let's just, let's just get out of here. Hey, buddy. So you're back! Enough! I told you I don't want to that! Grandpa! Tita? I must be dreaming. Grandpa! Thank goodness you're okay! <laughs> this isn't a dream. And you lot. Hey, Professor, you don't look like you're feeling so hot. Factor Chief Murdoch asked to, us to come and get you out of here. I'm impressed you actually sneaked in here. Oh, so much like your father. Not a lick of common sense to the two of you. Hey, old man. Sorry to interrupt your little vacation, but we need uh, you to get ready for a jailbreak. We don't have a lot of time. Who are you? You look like you came from the wrong side of the barn. I can tell that, at least. You have the head like a chicken. A chip. Say that again, you geezer. <laughs> nice one, Professor. Phone shush. I don't care about your GameStop deal of the day. Grandpa, you shouldn't say mean things like that. This is Aggie. He's a senior bracer over at Stell and Joshua. Well, now, I had no idea. Come to think of it, I think I heard Cassius mention your name before. Sunday bad a bad seed's always sulking about one thing or another, I believe. <laughs> this about, about this far from wringing your neck, old man. Now, now, calm down. <laughs> Professor, we'll have to save the explanations for later. For now, we need you to get we need to get you out of here. Is there anything you want to bring with you? Uh, can we carry the Kappa unit? If we leave it behind, I know these fools just misuse it again. Understood. Obtain the orbital calculator. I've been using that in my research to find the means of control of the black orbit. I wasn't able to discern its physical combination, composition, but I did have some success with the control method. Which means that these fools will be able to cause that phenomena to reoccur whenever they want. Oh. I'm sorry, Stella Joshua. I hate that it's been so grievously misused. <sighs> After you went to all the trouble bringing it to me. Excuse me. Believe me, we understand. With Tita's safety on the line, I can't imagine any of us would have done any differently. Besides, it's our fault that you two got caught up in this to begin with. For the love of Ideos, we don't have time for you to give speeches! If you're all set, then we have to go! Get your asses in gear, move as fast as old man's slip disc will let you. Oh, very clever. I haven't let any young man beat me yet, and I'm not about to start now! <laughs> Come on, both of you. Anything else to find over here before we leave? Nope. On we go. Look at our shadows. That's a fun effect, actually. That's really neat. I really like that the shadows move around depending on how we, you know, go with the light source. Uh, let's head back in here. Uh, you think we'll just let you escape? Yes. Ah, oh, crud. What's that? Guess the jig is up! Oh boy. It appears we have an intruder. Get out there and start searching, men. Platoons 1 through 4 will go to the airship port and docks and establish a blockade. 5, 6, and 7 will search the barracks, watchtower, and research facilities, respectively. Platoon 8 will accompany me to headquarters. That is all. Move out! Yes, sir! Oh uh, no. I don't think we have wh enough white Gehennas for all these. We can beat these guys, come on. Crap! 
crap, here come the soldiers! Looks like they're putting the squeeze in the airship port in the docks. The Major knows what he's doing. Eh, what else do you expect from the CEO of a Fort Defense Regiment? Well, what should we do? Where do we go? Well, where do we go? Well, leaving by the docks is gonna be tricky. We need to avoid the guards and find another way out. Okay, uh... Let's see, so we're by the barracks... Armory, watchtower, landing port... We can't just go out the main gate, right? <laughs> Uh, now we can turn the... Shoot. Now we can turn the camera, so that's cool. So that's locked. I think that's the main gate. <laughs> you! Uh-oh. Intruders are spotted! Crap! Come on, we can beat these guys up. Uh, what do we got here? Royal Army Soldier, 798. You guys stink. A member of the Lesson Fortress Garrison. They're selected for their skill in battle. I wonder if there was a way to avoid, like, any encounters entirely. Probably. But... I'm not known for that. Oh, you guys are just moving out of the way of the Gehenna. That's not nice. I'm gonna hit you with a stick. Oh, I was like, wow, we have five party members now? No, that's the professor. Professor does not have a lot of health. Luckily, neither do these guys. What was that noise? Intruders? We're incoming! Back to the research area! Getting through the airship port to the wharf isn't gonna be easy. We'll have to find another escape route. Yeah, get, uh, getting anywhere near there is probably unwise. Alright, so I screwed that up, I guess. So if you get caught, you get into a battle, and you come back over here. Hey, they're out cold! These guys must be very damn tough to take out the special ops. Buildings empty, sewer supremacies! Whoa, did they spot us? Fall back for now. Okay. At least we're getting dialogue. So we can't do anything over here. So let's sneak along this wall then. Where the heck are we? The command center? Uh-oh. This doesn't seem like a good idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. Doors locked. Doors locked. I guess the command center was the other option. Doors locked. I wonder if we're gonna get dinged for, uh, for getting spotted over there. Yes, let's go to the jail. Who's in jail? Who do we see in jail? We see... Wait a minute. That was the, the mayor, wasn't it? Josette! Oh, no, Josette, right. Uh, Josette's the sky pirate. Who the heck am I thinking of? The girl from the last chapter. Uh... Uh... Wasn't it something with a J? Oh, I feel awful now. I'm so sorry. I love I loved you and now I don't even remember you. Uh 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 Chloe. Yeah, with the J. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. <laughs> Don't you think it's awfully noisy outside? I don't even remember the voices I gave to any of these people, but wow, they're all here. Sounds to me like someone's breaking in. Say what? Who's breaking in? Nobody's allowed to break in till we break out! Nobody! Easy, bro. You know our simple little escape plan won't ever... Hey! Friendos! This looks like the dungeon. Wow, it's a lot bigger than the dungeon at the Hawking Gate. Huh? What? Hi. You? <laughs> you guys are. Those are the punks from before. You know, now that now that I'm thinking about it, they were arrested by the intelligence division. Well then, uh, long time no see. Oh, okay. You guys are being held here. Uh, how have you been? 
Hey, we don't need your damn pity. The only thing you're good at is are handing a pole air for brains. Jeez, I was trying to be polite. If it'll make you feel better, insult me all you want. What? Don't try to play it cool. Uh, I'm assuming you know these folks. <clears throat> They're the Capo Sky Bandits. They hijacked that airliner. I've heard stories about them. They use a very high-powered airship, don't they? I've heard it's of Imperial make, but I'm curious about the specs. Yeah, it's got a top speed of 2300 cell per hour. Uh, I mean, why should I have to answer your questions? <laughs> My, aren't we petty? Grandpa, I don't think this is the right time for asking about that kind of stuff. Now wait just one damn minute. Why are you bracers here in the first place? Are you the cause of that siren? Uh, uh, well, sorry we intruded. <laughs> Bye. No fair! You're the intruders, right? Hey, right, look at us out of here! Oh, that's great. Oh, uh, that was a surprise. Come to think of it, but that was Mayor Dalmore and Gilbert, like, two cells down, right? Come to think of it, those guys have some connection to the men in black, right? But they got arrested by Colonel Richard, which means... Maybe the colonel's trumping it up as one of his accomplishments. Or maybe Mayor Dalmore was used in a similar fashion. Huh. And yet, so I somehow just can't seem to muster up any sympathy for him. We're wasting time here. We gotta find another escape route. I wanna go back down. I wanna go back down and, and gloat. Ugh, fine. It was definitely... They were definitely both down there. I guess the other people were the Sky Pirates, and I don't... I don't know who's in the first cage. Maybe future Dovey will remind me. I'm glad we got that little scene though. I wonder if it was a you know, flag of some sort. It might have been. We're probably gonna have to go back and have them help us. Well, this isn't helping us at all. This is just the deadest of ends, in fact. Okay, well, that's not good. Hey, did you find them? Hey, have you heard the news? No, and I searched the barracks top to bottom. Same goes to the watchtower. That leaves at the headquarters. While we're there, we can report to the major that we've gone over the place with fine tooth comb. Uh, I think they're coming this way. Shit, this is a blind alley too. <sighs> All along the watchtower. Come on, this way. Hey, did you hear something? Yeah, I think it's this way. It's no time you don't want to be caught, do you? I have no idea who man is. I don't think I misheard that. We don't have a choice, and might as well give it a shot. Please be our dad. Come on, down the corridor. Hey, Joshua, do you recognize that voice? Yeah, it sounds familiar. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Da 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 da. But who does the man's voice belong to? Find out in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Several Tofu Four with. Trails in the sky for much games. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.